Across the globe, great monoliths of history stand vacant and oftentimes forgotten. They range in scale from a single building to the size of a small town or city. Some abandoned spaces transform into giant graffiti canvases, while others have begun to fade back into nature. So today, we present to you the top 27 abandoned places around the world. The idea of the Olympic Games bringing wealth and prosperity to the host country is only kinda sorta true. One example is the site of the 1984 Winter Olympics in Sarajevo, Bosnia. There you can visit the long neglected bobsled track, ski jump, medals podium, and even the hotel where the Olympians themselves stayed. In the desert hills of the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula is the Seventh Art Outdoor Cinema. Built in the late 1990s by a French drama student, the space contains 700 seats in a projection house behind them. For unknown reasons, no film has ever played there, and the large screen is totally gone. If the line has ever been too long at Disney World, this park is perfect for you. In Berlin, you can visit the fallen dinosaurs and worn woolly mammoths of Spree Park. This amusement park thrived after its construction in 1969, but by the early 1990s, it fell on hard times. A combination of poor attendance and the owner's criminal activities caused the park to permanently shut its doors in 2002. Taj Beg Palace in Kabul, Afghanistan was built around 1920 by the Emir of Afghanistan. In 1979, a Soviet force of 700 troops invaded the country and stormed the palace in Operation Storm 333, removing the president who lived there. The building remains totally empty. Construction of Moscow's Akvadroma Water Park was approved in 1997 with the hopes that it would be ready for the 1998 World Youth Games. When the project didn't meet the deadline, it continued to be built and was halted and abandoned in 2002. Inside the nine-story structure lay half-completed pools, water slides, cafes, offices, and more. When the apocalyptic zombies want to go for a swim, they will certainly go here. 760 kilometers away off the coast of St. Petersburg sits the abandoned Fort Alexander. It rests on an artificial island in the Gulf of Finland, part of the Baltic Sea. Over the course of its lifetime, the fort acted as a military fortress, plague research laboratory, naval storage facility, and repair shop. It was abandoned in 1983, but in the past 10 years, it has become a popular tourist spot. From Fort Alexander, we'll venture back towards Moscow to the Uglitch Reservoir, where the flooded belfry rises 244 feet from these man-made waters. As part of Stalin's effort to modernize the USSR in the 1930s, the construction of a dam on the upper Volga River flooded everything in the town of Kaliazin, except for the bell tower of St. Nicholas Cathedral. Today, the steeple is empty, but remains a draw for curious tourists. In Russia's eastern Siberia lies the second largest man-made hole in the world. The Mir Mine was started in 1957 and grew to be an astonishing 1,722 feet deep, almost as deep as the World Trade Center 1 is tall, and almost a mile across. Operations as a diamond mine ceased in 2001, with the largest diamond to be pulled out weighing 342.5 carats, or 68 grams. The mine can be accessed by driving down its spiral edge, which takes one full hour to get to the bottom. The Canfranc International Railway Station opened in the Spanish Pyrenees in 1928. During World War II, it became an escape route for fleeing Europeans, but later fell into the hands of the Nazis. After the war, a train derailment led to the abandonment of the line and the station, but in 2006, the railway tunnel became the new home of the Canfranc Underground Laboratory. Whitley Park. In the late 1890s, a fraudulent stockbroker named Whitaker Wright built a sprawling estate in Surrey, England called Leigh Park. In addition to a gigantic mansion and extensive landscaping, he built an underwater smoking room with a domed glass ceiling that looked out into the lake surrounding it. Wright was sentenced to seven years in prison and Leigh Park was sold off, but the smoking room remains. Nara Dreamland, the Japanese answer to Disneyland, opened in 1961. 
The height of its popularity, it welcomed 1.6 million visitors a year. However, the opening of Disneyland in Tokyo and Universal Studios in Osaka essentially ruined the park's business, which finally closed in 2006. It pretty much looks like Disneyland, but there are no lines. Another doomed Japanese amusement park was Gulliver's Kingdom. Based on the novel Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, though it opened in 1997, a lack of customers caused it to close four years later. The most notable feature of this abandoned park is the giant representation of Lemuel Gulliver tied to the ground, which now has graffiti on its face, making it look like Mike Tyson. Some buildings come so close to opening, but just never quite get there. This is certainly the case with the Ryu Gyeong Hotel in Pyongyang, North Korea. A 105-story pyramid-shaped mammoth, this skyscraper has had multiple starts and stops since construction began back in 1987. The interior structure was completed in 1992, however, the windows were not put on until 2011. It has been nicknamed the Hotel of Doom, and as of 2017, the building remains unopened. Opening in 1981, the House of the Bulgarian Communist Party was the political hub of the country during the Soviet era. But when the USSR dissolved less than a decade later, the building was abandoned. Most of the roof panels have been stolen, leaving the interior of the once grand structure open to the elements. Roughly nine miles from the Japanese city of Nagasaki lies the abandoned Hashima Island. This 16-acre island was established in 1887 as an undersea coal mine and ballooned to over 5,000 residents at its peak in 1959. But when the coal was depleted by the mid-1970s, the island became abandoned. And fun fact, external shots of the island were used in the James Bond film Skyfall. From one James Bond location to the next, used in the film Quantum of Solace, Krakow is an Italian ghost town that's been around for close to 1,000 years. A landslide in 1963 and a flood in 1972 whittled down the population until finally an earthquake in 1980 led to the complete abandonment of the site. After the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, the nearby town of Pripyat was evacuated and abandoned. 30 years later, the town remains vacant as radiation levels are still too high to allow for reoccupation. Houses, gymnasiums, parks, and even a Ferris wheel all wait for the day, someday, when its inhabitants may finally return. Until then, the radioactive foxes of Russia will take full advantage of the open real estate. The Belgian town of Charleroi is home to one of the most beautiful abandoned places in the world. Opened in 1921, the power plant IM was a coal-burning power plant that could cool down 480,000 gallons of water per minute. But a report in the early 2000s found the plant was responsible for 10% of Belgium's CO2 emissions, causing it to close by 2007. In 1974, the Nicosia International Airport on Cyprus found itself in the middle of a war between Turkey and Cyprus. It was bombed heavily and saw numerous firefights before the UN stepped in and incorporated the area as part of a buffer zone. Though parts are still used by the UN, most of the airport remains abandoned. A perfect place for a zombie international travel. A cruise liner named City of York was built in Newcastle, England in 1952. In 1971, she was sold to a new owner and renamed Mediterranean Sky. The ship was seized in 1997 and later towed to Eleusis, Greece, where she was abandoned. In November of 2002, the vessel began taking on water and eventually listed to the position it remains today. Taking this list home to America, some of the coolest abandoned structures are right here in the United States. New York is home to Bannerman's Castle, which is located on a small island in the Hudson River. The castle was constructed by a Scottish munitions dealer in 1901 and used as a safe storage site for guns, ammunition, and equipment seized by the U.S. military. In 1920, 200 tons of shells and powder exploded, destroying a portion of the complex. Then, in 1950, the ferry boat that serviced the island sank in a storm, and the castle was left abandoned ever since. 
Just down the river beneath the streets of New York City lies a completely unused train station. The City Hall station opened in 1904 and was decorated with splendid chandeliers and skylights, but the curved platform couldn't accommodate the newer updated trains. Riders eventually favored other nearby stops instead of this station, and it was officially closed in 1945. But if you stay on the sixth train at the end of the line and dodge the conductor, you'll pass right through for a free tour. From Manhattan, let's jump across the East River to Brooklyn, where a once majestic movie theater now lays dormant. The Lowe's 46th Street Theater was the place to catch a movie from its opening in 1927 until the 1960s. When the rise of the multiplex drove down business, the space was changed to a performance and music venue. It officially closed in 1973 and now waits for another chance at greatness. My guess? is that hipsters will turn it into an urban, farming, single-origin, pour-over, coffee, megastructure. Just my guess. Traveling from coast to coast, the next abandoned location is the ghost town of Kennecott, Alaska. From 1911 to 1938, the town boomed with activity as nearly $200,000 worth of copper was processed. But when the copper was finally tapped out, the residents left the town and a new ghost town was born. Detroit is home to the massive and totally empty Michigan Central Station. The building began operations in 1913 and was immensely popular until after World War II when cars became America's favored method of transportation. After frequent ownership changes, the building was closed in 2004. In 2016, the current owner spent $12 million on electricity, windows, and even a new elevator shaft in hopes of luring new investors and tenants but for now, the entire building remains tenantless. In 1910, the Waverly Hills Sanatorium opened its doors to tuberculosis patients in Louisville, Kentucky. With the introduction of a new antibiotic drug called streptomycin in 1943, tuberculosis cases lowered and the hospital transitioned into a nursing home from 1962 to 1982. It was closed by the state due to suspected patient neglect and the building has been empty since. Probably the most perfect place for ghost hunting on the list. Hurricane Katrina claimed 1,245 lives and caused $108 billion worth of property damage. Part of that damage was the 140-acre Six Flags New Orleans theme park, which was completely flooded and subsequently abandoned. Despite various development plans since the hurricane, the site remains abandoned in 2017. Bonus bang! Here we go. When I travel, I like to go for runs because I feel like I can just like see a city in a way that you can't really see it by either being in a car or walking around or what other mode of transportation, maybe like a bicycle. When I was in Vienna this last winter, I stumbled upon what I thought was a water tower, but it was so insanely massive, I couldn't believe no one was talking about it or there wasn't like a sign that said what it was. So I asked the guy walking his dog and I found out that it was a giant structure that was created by the Nazis in World War II. In fact, it was an anti-aircraft station smack in the middle of Vienna. There were these two massive concrete structures right next to each other, totally abandoned. The structure is actually called the Flak Tower, or this particular one, more correctly, the Flactrum 7G Tower. And it was one of eight built during World War II by the Nazis to take out Allied bombing planes. A particular structure was actually beginning to crumble and was set to be demolished. However, when the city found out that demolishing the building would actually destroy neighboring residents' buildings, due to the amount of explosives needed to destroy the 3.5 meter thick concrete walls, they decided, hey, you know what? We'll just, we'll just let the building just, just stand, you know? Why not? And trust me, you will not find this on any tourism pamphlets anywhere in Vienna. Thank you so much for watching. In the comment section below, let me know what structure was like the most mind blowing. Like we were like, wow, like I never knew that existed. That is huge and it's totally abandoned. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, we have new videos every Tuesday and I'll see you guys really soon.